Are you looking to buy C63? Are you worried about its fuel economy? Is your partner Karen? Well, look no further because it's great news because in today's video, we are gonna find out just that in the name of science. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago, I did a challenge on this car of how far can I drive with 10 pounds of fuel? Now, following on from that, I wanted to do an economy challenge. Now, recently I got a comment on that video with a really good suggestion, but I'm gonna to touch up upon that in a minute. But if you haven't checked out my fuel challenge, the 10 pound one, then I suggest you do, because it's actually really interesting. It's quite varied and mixed driving. I set out to do about 35 miles, but I won't spoil the results, so I'll let you find out for yourselves. But basically, in today's video, the benchmark will be 35 miles, so it kind of reminisces with the old video. So touching on, upon earlier what I said about, I got a comment on my videos with a good idea. Uh, basically what he said is, instead of just relying on my computers to tell me how much range or how many miles I achieved, what I'll do instead is I'm gonna fill up my car at the petrol station to full. And when I leave the petrol station straight away, I will essentially um, reset my computer and then when I get do my 35 mile round trip, I'll go back to the petrol station and I'm gonna fill up again all the way to the top and then I'll take the readings of what I get. So obviously I'll make notes of how much um, miles I did, which will probably be 35 miles. And I'll take note of how many liters it took to brim it to the top again. Update. I went to the petrol station that I was going to start at and fin and do my round trip on and basically it doesn't have any momentum and this car only takes 98 run so I'm in a bit of a pickle now and now I need to reroute and replan my whole route because basically what I was going to do is I had my route planned out I was going to do a round trip and it basically equals 35 miles which is perfect because that's what my last challenge was based on 35 miles so I've now got a plan now all over again. Um, not a good start. Okay, we just pulled up at the next petrol station. I think I figured out a route that's exactly this 35 miles, give or take, it'd be very minor. So wish me luck. Okay, as you can see here, we're on three quarters of a tank and now we're just gonna fill up to the top and then we're gonna reset the computer after that and then we'll embark our journey. Right guys, it just filled up, cost me. 25 quid for 16 litres, pound 54.9 for V-Power. That's the price you pay for the 99 Ron stuff. But now we're going to reset and we're not gonna waste any time. We're on full tank, let's go, let's go. Yeah, fantastic, good stuff. Let's get out of here. I'm running out of daylight, if I'm honest, which is not ideal. This little setback with the uh, my not conventional fuel station not working really did pamper my progress, but we will prevail. Come on, let me out. Argh! Argh! So for this journey, I am going to drive at 65 miles an hour because my can, this kind of route that I've chosen is has quite a few roundabouts so I want it so to compensate for those roundabouts and those tiny little niggles should we call them I'm gonna drive at 65 and 770 to compensate so it averages out the speed I guess it makes sense in my head if it doesn't with you then I'm, I'm sorry now this video is quite interesting for several reasons and one of them is of course the onboard computer gives you a display of what your MPG is. But if I do the mathematical way at the end, where I, you know, I get to a petrol station, fill up, reset it, and then go back to petrol station and fill up again, it would be a testament to see how reliable these onboard computers really are. Sorry if you can't see me by the way, I might put on this interior light to see if it makes any difference. very little bit, it gives me a nice little glow on my skin, which I guess is nice. Um, so yeah, it will be interesting to see what my on 
Ford computer thinks 35 miles is in terms of FPG and what the actual maths will be when I get the when I fill up the petrol station and what how accurate that will be in terms of miles per gallon and how close will they be or they be well to part. But if I'm gonna be honest, I reckon we're gonna get I reckon 26, 27 miles per gallon. Don't hold me to it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. 26, 27 miles per gallon, watch this space. Another reason I'm doing this video, not is because I only find miles per gallon fascinating, and if you don't like that, then I'm not sorry. Even though this is not the car to really test that miles per gallon, I think it's fascinating, and I, I don't care that I drive this like Miss Daisy or like a fairy. I am genuinely intrigued on how well this car really can perform on when you do drive it economically. I do believe these cars can be somewhat uh, reasonable on fuel. But yeah, the reason I want to do this video is because I'm in an, a couple of C63 groups and there are people, myself included, who wonder and ask questions. Uh, what is this car really like on fuel? What can I expect? And there are people who comment, well I say 70% of people comment, well you shouldn't buy this car then, this car's not for you if you're worried about miles per gallon, if you're worried about its fuel. And of course I do understand why they think that it's silly to ask those questions in a C63 enthusiast group. And because obviously it's got a 6.2 naturally aspirated V8, which is incredibly thirsty and was never built for economy. But I also disagree because there are generally people, myself included, who are interested on how well these cars perform when you are driving down the M5 for 100 miles or up the M1 for loads of miles. And there are some people who want to take in that um, into account of what sort of figures they can expect because it might be make or break for someone being able to afford one of these cars if they don't have the knowledge of knowing whether it will always do 15 miles per gallon or when it does 28 miles per gallon. For them it might be financially feasible to own a C63 if they know they can do 28 miles per gallon on the motorway but they might have it in their heads that these cars always are 15 miles per gallon or 10 miles per gallon, but they don't know that unless they ask the question. So I'm hoping that this video kind of answers that question for maybe people who are wondering what these cars like are on fuel when you do drive like a ferry. Okay, update. I'm just about to hit 10 miles, I'm on nine miles, and I've done 25.6 miles per gallon, not bad. Uh, we're just about to approach a roundabout. It'd be interesting to see how much the computer thinks it's going to worsen my MPG. Obviously, I'm going to feather the hell out of this throttle to make sure I do not lose my valuable MPGs. This A5, this DZ A5 is going to absolutely rinse me because he has no idea what we're trying to accomplish here. 10 miles, 25.7 miles per gallon. Not bad. Oh, he's backed off for me. What a race. Back up to 65 as we go. And back to normality. Back to safe cruising driving. But yeah, 25.6 miles per gallon in 10 miles. 25 to go. Are you guys feeling down? Are you watching us on a Monday and you got the Monday blues? Well, I've got a joke and I find it really funny, but I don't know if you guys have the same sense of humour as me. Why didn't the toilet paper cross the road? Because it got stuck in a crack. <laughs> I don't know, every time I tell myself or tell someone that joke, it, it makes me laugh. You actually get a tear to my eye. It is, I don't know why I find it so funny. No one else does, but I, I think it's hilarious. Something which I love about this car, it's so multi-purpose, it can do everything. It can be a, a right yobbo when you want it to be. But when you're just cruising on the motorway, you can barely hear anything. They can barely hear the, the really antisocial engine. Like it, you just hear a slight V8 rumble in the background. That's it. It's very quiet. And I'm doing 65, and I'm doing about 1700 RPM. If I was doing 70, it'd be just under 2000 RPM. And the engine doesn't make any 
noise is brilliant. Something else we could touch upon whilst we've got loads of time to kill is that you might be a businessman or an accountant uh, you really care about numbers because they fascinate you. Well, this is why we're doing this today. This can be make or break for your, your marriage, your mortgage, knowing how much MPG and how efficient these cars are. So it is futile that you know this. This is very good consumer information. Okay guys, we just ticked over 17 miles. So we're essentially about halfway through the challenge. Uh, we're doing 25.6 miles per gallon, which is very good, considering the first part of the journey has been stop-start with the uh, traffic lights. We've encountered quite a few of those, but the rest of the half should be quite a bit less. I've been quite unlucky with the lights, so we should be in good shape. Whilst we're sat here pooling at 65 miles an hour, we might as well talk about something which I mentioned my £10 fuel challenge, which is the fact that like Audi S3s and Golf R's, when you rag them, I've seen various people saying that they get low, well, high teens, like 18 to 17s, um, in terms of MPG. And then when you're driving, I don't know, on the motorway, they get low 30s or something. So, in reality, not too much worse than this. And this has over triple the size of the engine. 6.2 litre V8 compared to their 2 litre 4 cylinders. I'm not knocking them, I'm, I'm totally not knocking the cars. I'm just saying that considering the displacement of this engine, it's quite fascinating and quite unbelievable to know that this car won't be too much worse off than a vehicle with an engine that size. Not knocking you Audi or Golf R owners, please do not hate me. Just stating the fact, you know, just putting it out there, just putting it out there for any of you what viewers who might have a Golf R or S3 or something and you're considering a change. Well, you're not going to be that much worse off. Listening to Ramstein in my head because I don't want to get copyright striked. I had a bit of a moment earlier, um, probably have to cut out this video. Uh, basically some A1, Audi A1 came behind me and he's over to take this lorry, you know, because I want to keep my MPG consistent. Then as the Audi A1 tried to overtake me, it slowed down. So we're level pegging just before the lorry and it made me break. So as you can imagine, many, many swear words came out of my mouth. Um, so yeah, probably not going to include that. But it's great news, turn on my uh, GoPro, because we are currently on 34 miles, 27.6 miles per gallon, and we're about to just pull up to the petrol station we started at um, quite a while ago, because we've been driving so slowly. But I'm really annoyed because we're on 34, and we are just about at the petrol station. Come on, we're literally at the petrol station right now. Please take over to 35. Come on, still at 34. Oh, it's not gonna do it, is it? I'm just gonna have to do circles. It's gonna look really weird because I told the petrol station guy, um, I'll see you in a minute because I'm, I'm doing a video and I'm gonna come back. But now, <gasps> yes, it just ticked over 35 and we're just about to pull up. So, moment of truth. So, we started here. Not so long ago, and that is how you do that. So, 27.5 miles per gallon, 35 miles, and yeah, let's see what happens, and let's see how accurate um, this trip computer is as well, because obviously that's quite important as well. So, I'll see you in a minute. I'll probably record this next bit on my phone. See you there. Okay, moment of truth. Fill up, see what we get. <laughs> so that's nine pounds three pence and five point eight three litres. So I'm gonna go back in my car and do the maths. 
Okay, as you can see, I've just filled up um, and you can see my needles back to the top again. Uh, it was nine pounds, three pence, uh, and it was 5.83 liters. Now, I'm pretty sure that's a decent reading. And then when we, when we got here, my computer said 27.5 miles per gallon. So I'm gonna go on the internet now and I'm gonna use a calculator because I can't remember how you convert it. I can't do it in my head. It's too complex for me. So I'm gonna use the internet, use a calculator and see what the results are. See you in a bit. Right, so I am now on the internet. I moved position under a very bright light just in case you can't see me and I didn't want to film the petrol station just in case the authorities do me over. I don't know if it's legal to do that there. But uh, we are now on the MPG calculator website, which you might be able to see now. We did 35 miles and we did 5.83 liters. Just got to verify that. Don't want to get this spot on. Yep, 5.83 liters. So, calculating. So remember, 27.5 miles per gallon is what my computer told me. And I actually predicted 26 or 27. So I should be in the money here. And then... Uh, <gasps> 27.29 miles per gallon! Well, 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 well. What do you think of that? So, yeah. 27.29 miles per gallon is the official figure. My computer said 27.5. So what we have concluded here is that the computer on this car is quite accurate. So yeah, the onboard computer, which tells you your sort of MPG, turns out to be quite reliable. And 27.29 miles per gallon for 35 miles, which did have quite a few stop starts of traffic lights so if it was one straight I imagine it'd been a lot better than that so yeah I'm, I'm chuffed with that result and I'm chuffed that I got that pretty much dead on nailed on and I'm happy to know well as you guys now know C63 owners the onboard trip computer the MPG one is reliable so yeah happy days I'm, I'm genuinely pleased with that. I love, I love miles per gallon. Ah, welcome back, guys. Um, sorry if the quality of my audio and visuals aren't as good as it was before. This is now my GoPro Hero 6. My Hero 8 rudely interrupted me and ran out of battery. So I'll have to finish the rest of the video on this. Uh, but yeah, basically, yeah, I'm fascinated by the MPG. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really interesting to see what a car this sort of caliber can achieve when you don't drive it like Thor. You just drive it like you normally would, very sedately, very calm, in a relaxed manner, down the motorway, very relaxed driving. What MPG will a car like this achieve? I don't think enough people sort of cover this topic for this car because lots of people like to drive this car very fast and do donuts and drive it sideways. But for me, I, I'm not really about that. I just enjoy the experience of the straight line speed and the odd bit of sideways action, not too much. But I, I in general, am in shocked how well the challenge has gone. Let me know if you enjoy these economy challenges or MPG challenges, because I certainly do. Um, even if you don't, um, I'll still make them anyway, because I think MPG and economy especially in a car like this, is very intriguing. Please do feel free to leave any video ideas, uh, anything related to the C63, any questions in the comments, anything you want to see in this car, please do let me know. I'll probably do it, especially if it's MPG related. So there we have it, guys. We've established that this C63 is relatively economical to some extent when you do job like a fairy. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the future. Right, now that we've um, done that challenge, it's time to rinse the fuel tank.